it's the Kid Zone. Hey, it's a happy new year. Hey, hey, it's the Kid Zone. Hey, hey, it's a happy new year. Hello and welcome to Kid Zone, the Christian education moment designed for the entire family. It's a new year, a new year, and we are glad about it. Thunderous applause, everybody, for making it to another year. And so we are grateful because a new year is a good time to do new things and to do some construction on our lives. So why are you dressed like this, Reverend Sam? Well, I am dressed like this because it's time to do some work. And that work sometimes looks like having to dig deep and getting down into the surface and the foundation in order to build something new. Buildings, houses, and schools, and hospitals, and anything that you can think of has to be built from a blueprint. You have to have a set of plans in order to create something new. In order to go somewhere, you have to have a map. In order to um, create a schedule, to do a schedule, you have to outline some things and put something things on your agenda. In order to create a big old plan called a strategic plan or some types of life plan, you have to be able to make specific steps and plan out the details for your life. So I'm inviting all of you all to become constructionists and construction workers on not just a building, but starting off with the building that's inside of you. Each one of us within our lives, we are given this time and God has given us this gift of our life. And so I asked myself from an early age, I used to keep a journal, um, I still keep a journal, but when I was a really young boy, um, definitely in my preteen days, I remember keeping this journal and writing down all of my goals and my dreams. Whenever I had a dream at night, I would write those down. Whenever I had something I wanted to do and I wanted to become, I would write that down. So whether that dream at the time was to become a doctor or if it was to become a specific type of doctor, a sports doctor, if it meant being able to travel in different places, I wrote all those things down into my journal because it was becoming the blueprint for my life. I wrote down the things that I wanted to do and experience, the places I wanted to go and visit, the types of uh, achievements or goals I wanted to accomplish. It was all put into my journal, which became a part of my blueprint and my plan. Well. As Christians, we have a blueprint given to us, which is in the Bible. And in the Bible, it gives us instructions on how we are to live in each and every day, how do we treat people, how do we focus on different things, and how do we keep a mindset of Christ. And so God gives us a set of tools. The Bible, he gives us um, tools through our people that we interact with every day. And so if you look around, you have teachers and friends and parents and other loved ones who can help you to create the plan and develop the plan for yourself. Not to do it for you, but to help you in conversation. So talking to my adults, adults out there, I invite you to begin having these intentional conversations with young people today because their goals and dreams matter. Young people, I invite you and invite you to now start making those visions and plans for yourself. Maybe that goal setting looks like a vision board. You can go and cut out some newspaper clippings or download them from the internet, put them on a poster board, and you can see what your goals are for 2022. This is gonna be a great year. And if you can see it, you might be able to believe it. So don't just think about it here. First, you have to have it in your mind, and then you need to put it out there. So when you see it each and every day, you see your goals written out of what you want to achieve this year, whether it's getting good grades, maybe it's getting into the college of your choice, maybe it's getting that job, maybe it is just improving a little bit more on your math skills. Maybe you want to be an orator and make videos and do different things. Well, get out there and try it because what is great about setting a goal with God is that 
God says in the word written in Philippians to the church who was also trying to make goals and Paul tells them that you can do all things through Christ which gives you the strength so I am going to be a strong builder in 2022 because Christ has given me the strength to do so and I know that when I put my goals out there and I can see it for myself great things are bound to happen so I want to know who's gonna build greater in 2022 come on come on if it's you write me write me point at yourself and declare it for yourself that I'm gonna build better and greater in 2022. I'm Reverend Sam. That's all I have for you this week. Cannot wait to see you again on our series to see more in 2022.